Hello guys, it's Moth here, and I'll be talking about a Phalanx build for the Crusader. Hopefully this will be really cool for you guys to check out. Uh, as usual, I will talk about uh, the gear first, then the skills and the Paragon points, and how it should be played. So first, for gear, you need two legendaries. One will be Task Grand Theo, because uh, the legendary passive of Task Grand Theo will increase your attack speed of your pets by to about 50%. And for your other legendary, you'll need the Flail Baleful Remnant, which will, um, as a second passive, image kill while your Akros Champion's on, will turn him into Phalanx Avatars for 10 seconds. I'm not seeing one at level 70, but I want one at level 70. Uh, for your skills, oh sorry, uh, for gearing, um, try and get per, uh, physical damage, uh, sorry, um, I melt the physical skill damage, percentage damage to get that. Uh, you need Phalanx skill damage, you'll also need, um, Blah, 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 blah. I'm missing something in my head. And also skill damage, failing skill damage, bombardment skill damage if you can, crit chance, crit damage, strength of course, and maybe some cooldown reduction if you really if you have the time for it. I think that's basically everything you need. Yes, sweet skills. Uh, punish with celerity, so you, um everything can go off of your attack speed. All pets will go off of your attack speed as an inherent attack speed. So punish with celerity is an idea. Also, it's physical. If you guys don't want that, it's kind of hard because, you know, Punish is the only physical uh, primary attack you have. But of course, Justice will be good to kind of keep you at, you know, at range as well. Uh, bombardment is your right click because this is physical and you're stacking physical. And this is going to do a lot of damage against leads. Uh, if for, your, if for your one drop, Phalanx with Bowman. This is the build. Get Phalanx. If you want some quick math, in my, uh, as I say it aloud, you have... Four of these bowmen, they do 160% damage. I'm pretty sure four times 160 is 640. Uh, Lord Commander will increase them by 20% and, and not including the physical percentage damage you get and as well as the phalanx damage you can get off of gear. So that's a lot of damage off of one skill. And also they attack 50% faster. <sighs> that's a lot of attacks at once. So the single target of these four things is going to be devastating. They will melt something by themselves. Of course they need a little bit of help. So Heaven's Fury with Thou Shall Not Pass will help you out. Um, you c the reason why I have Fury uh, is because it does damage. It's also a low cooldown, and thus shall not pass because it stops things from moving around. Because the archers cannot attack while moving, so thus shall not pass will help out with that. Of course, if you really want to, you can also grab Judgment. It does the exact same thing, and it will also increase your crit chance, as well as other things you can really care about. I don't care about it, so I grab Heaven's Fury. Three laws. Laws of Valor is critical. These these little guys will actually gain crit damage off of you. So your crit damage will apply to them, so Laws of Valor will actually increase your damage output. If you don't want that and you're a little scared for your life, Laws of Justice with Bravery will help out. Four. Akros Champion with Rally. I mean, of course, your Rally will lower the cooldown of your Bombardment, of your, uh, your Heaven's Fury, off of your Law. Uh, I don't think it will actually do off of um, your, your Phalanx for some reason, because I don't think Akros Champion interacts with Phalanx as intimately as it should. Uh, it's a little bug, that's a bug right now, but Akros Champion will also go off a of Baleful Remnant, so it will be generating uh, Phalanxes anyways, technically. Pass skills. <sighs> your Blot Chance, get more Blot Chance to hold your ground. Uh, Lord Commander, you need this. I mean, you have Bombardment, you have Phalanx, you might as well. Finery. And heavenly strength. If you guys don't like these options, you can always grab Long of the Law, Divine Fortress, and Vigilant. I'm not really big on Divine Fortress because I mean, Shield Block Chance. Ah, bleh. that's my that's my thoughts on it. If you guys want to alternate alter alter any of these skills, the only thing I can foresee you can alternate at all is the primary. <laughs> I guess you could drop the Bombardment and grab something like Steel Charge, but Bombardment does so much damage, you might as well grab it. So do that, please. Uh, parry points. You're going to need strength. You're going to need cooldown reduction, then into crit damage. Or it can do the opposite. It does not matter to me. It's your call. Defensively, all resist, utility, uh, area damage, or life on hit. Either or. Resist cost reduction is useless in this build because there's no resource being used. So, yes. That's the build. How to use this build. Uh, for normal white mobs, just, sp just spam your bowmen. They'll take care of everything for you. Uh, if they're certain, if they have a lot, if you're fighting against something that will move away quite quickly, uh, spawn this on them. That will hopefully keep them in place for a while. And it also will travel and it will actually target things. So your bowmen will be able to sit there and attack them as well for you, while you're also attacking. Uh, three, 
You'll spawn your three when you're going against the, uh, maybe like a blue pack or a yellow pack that you don't really care about. You don't really in, in barbarians on uh, cooldown. Your four will be used whenever you you know have a lot of whites near you and you get the rift boss nearby or you got uh, a white pack nearby. Sorry, or um, an elite mob nearby. So just spam this and start spamming everything to get a lot of people behind you. And of course, bombardment because you want to kill an elite pack quickly. Uh, side note, you can use Moral Drama if you really want to, instead of Baleful Remnant. But I like the idea of Baleful Remnant because Phalanx avatars are declared in the pa in the actual uh, passive text, which means they will get damage from your physical um, percentage, your Phalanx damage, and your, your uh, Lord Commander. This is my Lord Commander Phalanx build. Hopefully you guys like it. I have never tried it. This is me completely through crafting. Hopefully it will work in a, a hardcore setting. And... Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully it helps.